which, their which mid-30s. One, which one are you on the most? Facebook? I am Facebook, but I'm actually um, going more towards Instagram now. I'm finding okay. it to be a little bit more. Okay. Um, so the, what I'm going to recommend, I think, lends itself to Facebook a little bit better than Instagram. Okay. Although it can, I'm sure you can do the same thing on Instagram. And it's basically just kind of document your journey, right? So share with people what you're doing. You're not soliciting anybody. You're not dropping hints about investing with, you're not doing any of that stuff. You're just saying, you're just letting people know what you're up to. Hey, just went out to lunch with so and so, and then tag so and so on on that, and and learn so much about whatever. I mean, love this. I mean, I'm looking for uh, a real estate investing strategy that that fits me and what I'm looking for. And you know, at the end of the day, I, I really want to focus on cash flow. That's what I, I I want to do. So I'm trying to figure out. Just be transparent. I'm trying to figure out what the best fit is for me. So. I'm having a uh, having a lot of fun learning. Okay. And then, so that's starting right now. And then as you start working with somebody, Hey, I'm so thrilled. I've joined forces with Joe Schmo here. And, and I've got the, the, the privilege of working with him on one of his multifamily deals or working with her on one of her self storage deals or whatever it is that you're, you're doing. And I'm so excited to be learning uh, about this, you know, and, and about this whole investment class, I'll, I'll take you along for the ride kind of thing. And then, document as you're going along and just show people that you're actively doing stuff, that you're actively learning, you're actively participating, you're doing deals. And that'll get people aware that Catherine is, is a real estate investor and she's, she's doing stuff and she's not perfect. She's not, she's not the, the guru yet, but that's reality, right? To, a lot of people say fake it till you make it. I, I say no, because that just, that'll shoot you in the foot with your, the no like and trust factor, right? So start it now, start documenting that journey. And then when it gets to the point where you're feeling comfortable with the new strategy, the strategy that you're doing, well, now it's time to start getting prospective investors lined up before you've got a deal. Because the worst advice I ever heard was, hey, just find a good deal and the money will find you. And I say baloney to that. I say, you know, that's that's a sure way to lose a good deal is to scramble for the capital last minute. So I always prefer, hey, let's get five or six people lined up who maybe they have, they're not going to cut you a check or anything, but they're seriously interested in your deals uh, before you go find one uh, to, to bring down.